it is always a good idea to create a backup of your drive C when computer is still working and you don't have any issues. This way, you can restore drive C in case of the disaster. To complete the backup of your drive C, you might consider creating system image disk in Windows 10. To do that, you need to navigate to backup. You can go directly by typing the backup uh, right in the start menu, or you can also uh, call the same option from settings. Here in backup, we go to go backup and restore option from Windows 7, and then choose an option to create system image. Windows is looking for the drives where it will attempt to save the backup. And it should be a separate drive, so this way if something happens to your C drive, you can restore from another drive. In my configuration, I have two drives available. One is drive C, which is a 256 gigabyte, and another one is drive E, which is 512 gigabyte. I'm going to attempt to save a system image for drive C onto the drive E. And now we can just select this drive and click Next. Windows offers you to backup drive C and also Windows system uh, recovery environment. And all you need to do is just click Start Backup. Once backup is complete, Windows offers you to create a system repair disk. You can use this disk to boot from DVD and then use this backup image to restore your drive C. If you don't have it, it's a good idea to have it and create it when you still can. Or if you have another computer, that's what I rely on, and one computer breaks, you can always create it in another Windows 10 installation. So I'm going to click uh, No here. If you'd like the content, please make sure to click the Like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. To restore your computer using system image you created, you need to reboot Windows in recovery mode. And make sure your system image is available on one of the connected drives. To restore from the created disk, you need to go to recovery mode and reboot your computer in advanced startup mode. Once you're in advanced startup mode, you click troubleshoot and then you go to um, advanced options and then you go to system image recovery. So you need to know with which uh, user account this image was created. Mine was created with video recording account. You need to uh, type in your password. Windows identifies the image that was created and it offers you to restore from that. What are the other features of Windows 10 you use on a daily basis? Can you please post them in the comments of this video so we all can learn? Thank you very much. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.